So I start off in 1980, um, 81, uh, well prepared, I thought. I'd, I'd, I passed, I got my diploma in farm management and I knew how to make hay at silage and how to do all my budgets. But then we hit the drought of 1980, 81. Now that was, a wake, <coughs> that was my wake up call. And it's always a wake up call for most people in agriculture, the drought. As custodians of this landscape, of this nation, we are managing the whole. So this orange, if you think of it, when you peel it next time, just think of all the parts that you're managing and think how proud you would be, you are, if you can manage all those aspects. And of course, human, you know, we're going to talk about this a bit later, but the, the social aspect of farming is just as important as the economic. So I learned that it wasn't just about hay sheds and making silage, etc. that animals actually are our tools. The feed buffer is what took me through the droughts. I did not have that in 1980. I had no decisions about how I was doing it. The hay shed was, not, was, was really only a small amount of feed, really, relative. So the buffer, I could plan ahead, no different to what Stuart was saying. He can plan ahead, he rings his managers up and he'll say, well, how much feed have we got ahead? I could see going into 2017, we actually had less rain than where Glen is on the because the western side dropped. We didn't get that rain that came in from the east or whatever it was, but we were six months, we were six months ahead in the drought in that period, and so I could see that we 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 had enough feed. I could always plan ahead for about a year and a half. I realised that uh, we started with 25, 30 paddocks. And my father's time, it was two or three paddocks when he arrived. Then he put a few big fence lines in, um, all timber back in those days. And so I had to re I had to look at how to do this. So what we've got here, our prop the house is just in this area here. I've got eight eight farmlet. I call them farmlets. They're not cells because we are farm managers. So a one percent increase in soil carbon will lead to 168,000 litres more water held in a metre of, of each hectare. That's huge, isn't it? Um, it just is frustrating that we can't see that our water underground is, is the dam. That is the dam, the water that we're restoring now. So the next drought that we're coming into, if we've got a good ground cover, guaranteed that all of you here will get through the drought a thousand times better if you have a grazing plan that keeps the ground cover there.